All right, we're going to go ahead and create a display box like what we discussed before, and I'll go through fairly quickly. I'm going to go to Family, New, and I'm going to scroll down and open up Generic Model Adaptive and double click or click open, whichever one you want to do. I'm going to come in and change my graphic display option background to none. So we have a white background. You have two reference planes, right? A center front back and a left right. And you also have a level one reference plane, which is horizontal. I'm going to go to my floor plan reference level. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a reference plane rig for this box. So I'm going to come over to plane and I am just going to come in and draw four additional reference planes on either side of the center one. Okay, And it's not important that they're in exactly some place or not. So once we get in there you can come in and pick one of them and make sure that they're creating a, a rectangle that's about the size of what you're going to create. It's a little big you know, but that's okay. You just don't want it to be like 50 feet or something. Um, you just want it to be close within reason. So at this point what I want to do is put some dimensions on here and add some parameters. So if I go to Create Aligned, the first thing I'm going to do is center this guy, these reference planes around the middle reference plane by putting two dimensions and then clicking in white space and selecting on the equal. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So left click, left click, left click, and then left click in white space. Select the equal. Then you can come in and put an overall dimension on both of them. So I'm just picking the reference planes and when I'm done I'm just picking in white, I'm moving it and then picking in white space. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this, I'm going to add a parameter, and I'm going to call it width and click OK. And then I'm going to select this. And I'm going to add a parameter and I'm going to call it length and click OK. Now once I've done that, if I come up to my Family Types dialog box up here, left click, you'll see I have length and width parameters in there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my front elevation and I'm going to draw another reference plane. So plane and I'm just going to, this is going to control the height. So I'm just going to come up here and draw a reference plane somewhere up there and <clears throat> kind of zoom in a little bit. If I pick that, that's like 24 feet. That's a little high. I'm going to bring it down by selecting on, if you select on the object, so I'm selecting the reference plane, it'll bring up a temporary dimension and you can select that dimension and say, I want this to be 15 feet and it'll move it down. Now I want to put a dimension on here. So I can actually make that temporary dimension permanent by selecting the item and selecting on the dimension symbol. Now that's permanent. I can select it and move it out and I can add a parameter to it. So I'm going to add H-E-I-G-H-T, height. Click OK. So now I have three parameters controlling the length, the width, and the height. Now I actually need to make something that con that's being controlled. So I'm going to go back to my reference level, floor plan. I'm going to come to Reference and Rectangle. And I'm going to make a profile to extrude. I want to make sure that Draw and Work Plane is selected and I also want to make sure that Reference Level is selected and that 3D Snapping is not on. I'm going to left click on the intersection of the reference planes and left click on the diagonal intersections. It's going to give me a bunch of locks and I'm going to lock them, basically locking that profile to those reference planes. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my 3D view. So if I come up here and <clears throat> select Modify to stop the rectangle command, I'm going to pick that rectangle and I'm going to create a form. Left click on Create Form. Gives me the option for a plane or a three-dimensional form. I want the 3D form, so I select it. And it gives me that 3D form. Now I want to align the top of this box to this reference plane. So I'm just going to go to Align. I'm going to select that reference plane. Then I'm going to select the top of that box and I'm going to hit the lock. Now I want to make a couple of types. So open up your Family Types dialog box and let's click New. 
I'm going to name this 5 by 10 by 5 and click OK. And then I'm going to change the height to 5, the length to 5, whoops, 5, and the width to 10. Okay, and then I'm also going to move that up so it goes length, width, and then I'm going to move height down so they're in the correct order. Okay, if I hit apply, you'll see that the box updates. If I go to new, and I'm going to name this 5 by 5 by 5, click OK, and we'll change this to 5, and hit apply. Okay, and then we'll add one more, and we'll say 5 by 5 by 10, and click OK and change the height to 10 and hit apply. Click OK. Alright, so now we've got three different types of that. Um, when I come back, we'll go ahead and put a frame on it. Alright?